Hello, you beautiful planty people, and how are you all doing today? I hope you are well. I hope you were awesome. I can't believe that it is getting close to the end of summer. I am, I'm looking forward to fall. I actually um, sent Jordan on a little Bath and Body Works trip the other day and they have their fall candles. So he brought three of them home and I have one lit right now and my whole house smells like cinnamon pumpkin and I am here for it. I love fall and I'm actually excited for some really cool fall projects. And I'm excited for sweater weather. I like summer, don't get me wrong, but like spring and fall, winter's too cold, summer's too hot. I'm such a whiner. <laughs> anyway, look at me rambling and I haven't even, you know, gotten two minutes into the video. So welcome to those of you who are new. I am so glad you found me. It is so lovely to have you here. And for those of you who are gluttons for punishment that keep on coming back for more, it is amazing to see you. Thank you so much for coming back and supporting my channel. Uh, before I get into this, I always say this at the end and I keep meaning to say it at the beginning, um, if you do like this video or any of my content, please go ahead and hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. Also, if you're not currently subscribed, I know, um, it seems to work out with most channels that our larger viewing population is not subscribed as opposed to the people who are subscribed. It's about 60-40, which is kind of weird. So if you're not subscribed already, please consider doing so. It is a huge help to me, and I would love to have you here as part of my little planty family. Okay, so um, we are going to kick off another video for my top five series. And today's video is my top five pest prevention tips. So if that sounds like something that you'd like to stick around and watch, then please stick around and watch and we can uh, hopefully nip this pest problem in the bud before it gets to be like a ah, problem. <laughs> okay, so Tip number one, I'm just gonna jump right in here. Um, I actually was given some amazing ideas. I asked you guys on Instagram to send me some ideas of my top five things that you guys would like to see, and you guys, like, killed it. I got 20 unique, great ideas, and so I'm gonna be probably posting one every two weeks maybe once a week, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, but you guys did amazing, so thank you so much um, to all of you who submitted ideas for my top five. Additionally, if you have any other top five videos that you would like to see, please go ahead and throw them down in the comments uh, or send me a message on Instagram. Um, not only top five things, but any other videos that you guys would like to see. I have quite the list going of different video ideas that I would like to do, but I am always, I mean, the whole idea is that I'm here for you to do videos that you want to see. So if you can think of anything that you would like me to do, then please um, let me know and uh, I will add it to my list of videos to do. Okay, without further ado, <laughs> let's go ahead and start with my pest prevention tip number one. So my number one tip or my first tip is something that I mentioned in my how I take care of 250 house plants and don't freak out sort of video. Um, but I feel like it's one that is quite important and that is treating your plants as soon as you get them home. So regardless of where you get the plant, if you got it at the most reputable nursery or the most, most reputable online shop, um, just a 411. Pests happen to them too. <laughs> so we have to be cognizant of that. Um, you know, nobody is perfect. Hopefully somebody is not going to ship you a plant with a pest, but it does happen. And it happens to the best shops um, as well. So don't think just because the, the shop that you're buying from has amazing plants and they have a great reputation that, you know, it's, it's, it's not plausible for them to have a pest, it happens. So my recommendation is as soon as you get a plant home, take it right straight to your sink, clean it. So get your spray, whatever you typically use. Um, I have a spray bottle that has a little bit of um, insecticidal soap. It has some um, water. And I think that's all that's in mine. Depends on what I'm spraying. <laughs> um, but for my immediate 
treatment that's what I use um, now on my more sensitive plants I tend to lean a little bit away from the horticultural soaps and that kind of thing um, some plants are a little bit more delicate so for those I'll use like um, a couple drops of mild dish soap and water and that tends to uh, to do the trick the other thing that I recommend is and I totally forgot to mention this in that video um, but what I do, unless you've been told otherwise, if it's a plant that's being shipped to you and the root system, um, I know I was sent a plant once by House Monstera and they, the root system was still rather immature, um, so they didn't want me repotting it. Now I know that this is kind of like a split thing and there's the group of people that are like, don't repot a plant as soon as you bring it home, it'll cause it stress. And then there's the group, which I happen to fit into, that says, but why would you stress a plant out twice? Treat it, repot it into good clean soil. And when I say repot it, when you bring it home, I mean like take it out of the pot, get rid of all the soil, throw the soil out, rinse off the roots, rinse off the plant, clean the plant, put it in your own soil that you trust, you know there's no pests in it, hopefully, <laughs> and, um, and then stick it on your shelf. There's no need to quarantine it. Or anything like that it's it's clean it has good soil you know there's nothing funky in there and um, you're good to go so it's it's totally up to you what side of the fence you're on on that whole repot as soon as you get home thing but let me tell you um, from my experience um, I have with the exception of that one plant every single plant that I bring into this house that's what I do I repot it immediately and clean it and I have never had a problem. And I'm talking even with my my rare plants, um, and I do have rare plants, um, or my, my uncommon or trendy plants, uh, my more sensitive plants, I do that with all of them, and I have never had an issue. And I'm curious, and I'm gonna throw this question back to you guys. <laughs> have you ever gotten a plant home, repotted it, and then had it die because you repotted it. Because I'm curious. Because I have, as you know, a lot of plants and I have never experienced that. So I understand the thought process that kind of goes behind that. Like, you know, it's already like been in transit uh, or whatever and you don't want to stress it out again, but it's just gonna get comfortable and acclimated into your home and then you're gonna rip it out of its home and then like, I don't know, anyway. That's just me. You do you, boo. <laughs> Anyway, so that is my number one tip. Treat your plants, change the soil as soon as you get them home and then you don't have to worry about bringing anything new into the house. Tip number two. So tip number two, depending on how many plants you have, can be a little more high maintenance or not. And I'll give you a tip number three that explains that or not <laughs> in a minute. Um, but tip number two is to check your plants regularly. It's harder for pests to, to create a massive infestation if you're checking your plants frequently and catching problems before they become a big problem. Um, so, you know, I, if, you're, if you're anything like me, um, I tend to look at my plants, like I literally walk around the house at least two to three times a day and I'm not exaggerating. And I know that everybody doesn't do this or maybe you do, I don't know, tell me, do you do this? But I walk around the plants two or three times a day just kind of looking at them and checking them out. And so that's a huge help for me because if there's any problems, I tend to catch them really, really quickly. If I see spotting on the leaves or if I happen to see a bug or whatever um, I can catch that before it turns into a big problem and I can tell you from a lot of experience that it has saved so many of my plants I have caught spider mites before they became a major problem and spread all over the place I've caught uh, thrips issues um, last year I caught an aphid issue before it spread to any other plant um, so checking your plants regularly is definitely absolutely key and just because you're treating plants when you come home doesn't mean they're not going to get into your house especially if you have like if you're one that has like your windows open so all that breeze can come in pests can come in that way as well um, they can come in on your clothes on your shoes you know so 
I know we kind of get comfortable in the the idea that you know even all my windows are closed and I, I know that all of my plants are pest free there's nothing around but then spider mites show up and you're like where did you even come from <laughs> they just get in um, they're so tiny that I mean it doesn't it's not hard for them to get in you know what I'm saying anyways blah, I'm rambling so anyways checking your plants regularly will dramatically reduce the amount of problems you have and it will catch problems before they become disastrous okay <laughs> so moving on to tip number three and that is check your plants when you're watering them it doesn't have to be and I, I mentioned this in a previous video um, but when you're going around watering your plants you're already at that plant just flip over a couple leaves take a look at the plant it takes no time at all and like I said you're already going around plant to plant so what's a couple extra seconds to flip over a leaf or you know check the stems for webbing or whatever um, and that takes a lot of the high maintenance um, or the extra time out of checking for pests because you're already at your plant I keep saying that um, there's not much more to say on that particular tip it, it really just is that easy you don't need to make a special trip around the house to check every single plant but you do have to water your plants right so why don't you just kill two birds with one stone and check your plants for pests while you're watering okay <laughs> I don't know what this is Ugh. okay let's just move on to tip number four so tip number four is one that everybody should be doing but it's one of those things I don't know about you but I'm like ugh, it just takes forever you kind of have to weigh the pros and cons and that is clean your leaves once a month now if you have a substantial collection like 250 ish that can be a really daunting task so most definitely break it up uh, do a couple a day or you know if you're home kicking around it's a rainy day you can't do anything else throw something on the TV that's what I'll do and I sit down and I'll watch you know binge watch some Netflix or whatever um, and I just keep bringing plant by plant onto my coffee table and I'll sit there with my little buckets of one of you know water and um, I usually use um, a mixture of water dish soap and a little bit of lemon juice like a little bit because um, it helps the shine <laughs> and it's natural um, anyway and I'll sit there and just clean the leaves while I watch TV it's super easy you're you're sitting down relaxing anyway and it gives you something to do while you're watching all of those shows we like to binge watch by the way while we're talking about binge watching shows I want you guys right now to go down and throw in the comments I need some new things to watch I have Netflix and I have Prime so go down and throw your favorite shows or movies from Netflix and Prime down in the comments I need some new stuff to watch while I clean my leaves <laughs> um, anyways so clean your leaves once a month it can be daunting uh, especially when we have plants that have a whole lot of smaller leaves um, but trust me this is like massive not only does it help the plant photosynthesize better because it's not covered in a layer of dust you're gonna catch any potential pests or eggs or anything that's on those leaves or on the petioles which I also clean as well the stems and the petioles um, before they can turn into a bigger problem or if you you know catch some eggs or larvae before they turn into you know plant sucking I don't know where I'm going with that anyways you know what I'm saying <laughs> anyways wash your leaves once a month hang out watch Netflix have a Netflix plant clean and chill yeah <laughs> okay so that is my number four tip um, that's how I do it it makes it super easy and actually a lot more fun and relaxing so moving on to my last tip tip number five my tip number five for you is don't panic <laughs> um, I know back in the beginning I lost my ever-loving mind um, you know I had this massive thrip infestation last year it was horrible like I swear they were on about 75% of my plants and I think last year I had more plants than I do now and so that was crazy that was crazy and <laughs> here's the thing 
Had I followed steps one through four, had I known that last year, um, I wouldn't have been in that situation to begin with. So if you follow steps one through four, you're never gonna get into a situation where you have a massive outbreak and you need to panic. Pests aren't the end of the world. You're gonna have pests. Get comfortable with that. Be zen with the idea <laughs> of having some pests on your plants. But if you, like I said, if you follow my first four tips, you will never need to panic. Ah, it's great. It's, it's just, it's a win-win. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying half the time. <laughs> Anyways, so that is basically it. Look at me go, I kept this video semi short and sweet and to the point, I'm so proud of myself. Um, anyway guys, so I will wrap that up. If you have any other tips and tricks about pest prevention, um, by all means go ahead and throw them down in the comments um, or any other comments, throw them down in the comments. Say comments one more time, Nikki, comments. Um, yeah, so that is all of my tips and tricks um, and I hope that you found this helpful uh, in some way, shape, or form. Um, if you like this video and you think it may help some other people, then by all means share um, this video, share it on Facebook, share it on YouTube, send it to your mom, send it to your brother. <laughs> that is a great way that you can support the YouTubers that you like is by sharing their content. Um, and by engaging with their content. So, I would like all of you to have an amazing and wonderful day, night, week, month, and year. I love you all the bitty bits, and I will see you in the next one. Mwah! Uh -huh. Don't panic, because if you follow steps one, steps <laughs> Get it together, Nikki. <laughs>